In the previous video, we spoke about adding using the jump strategy. This one, we, we will use it for subtracting. So the same strategy, the jump strategy used for subtraction. So let me um, just remind you that we're doing what we're doing to reduce cognitive load as it will make it easier for the student to understand without having to stress about the question and without having any complications. So cognitive load theory is the study that reduces cognitive load. So let's have an example. 79 and we need to take away 32. So the jump strategy is always on the number line. Before we start, please remember the place value knowledge or understanding of a place value is a very, very important thing here. So students need to understand that the 32 is actually 30, so 3 tens, and the 2 are 2 units. Make sure they understand this before we start talking about the jump strategy because it will make it much easier to perform the strategy knowing that they understand that 32 has 3 tens and 2 units. So let's start from 79 and we're going to go backwards 32 which made it's made of 3 tens and 2 units. So 3 tens, let's go 10 by 10. So take away 10 that takes us to 69. Take away another 10 that takes us to 59. Make my number line longer and another 10 it will take us to 49. So we've done with the 30. So we took away three tens. Now we are at 49. Now we're gonna move backward another two units. So one unit will take us to 48 and another one will take us to 47. So our answer is 47. So easy, simple, as long as they understand the place value. Make sure they do understand it before you start. Let's have another example. Let's take a, a little bit more challenging one. So let's have 83 take away 47. So again, make sure they understand that 47 is made of 40 and 7. So the 40 is 4 tens and the 7, these are 7 units. Now the 7 units can be broken down into different units. So let's leave it to the end. But let's take away from the 83, let's take away 40. So that's our number line. Start from the 83 and go backwards. 40, you 40. So 40, there are four tens. Take away one ten, that is 73. Another one, 63. Another one, that is 53. And another one, that is 43. So one, two, three, four, ten. So we got rid of this. So we took away the 40 already. Now we need to take away seven units. Now we are at 43, let me just fix that, 43. To take away seven units, that seven, I should be able to take away three first and then another four. So again, back to partitioning, the seven can be broken into any two whole numbers. However, it's the best here to choose to take away the 3 because that will take us to 40. So take away 3, it's easy for other students to understand that it's easy to go to 40. So rest on the 10s, we rest here. And now we need to take away another 4. So I can go, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4. Each one is taking away 1. And now we are 39, 38. 37 and 36. So the answer is 36. So I can write our answer here as 36. And again, it's simple, it's easy. Take away the 40, 4 tens, and then take away 3, take you down to 40, and then another 4 ones. If students 
feels uncomfortable to go for things all together, that's fine. I mean, some students are able to do that. So 83 take, take away 40, that takes you straight away to 43. If they don't, there's nothing wrong going 10 by 10. So that's another example of how to use the jump strategy for subtraction. And our last example, if we take a more challenging one. So let's have 155, take away 56. And I'll repeat myself again, 56. It's good to understand the place value here. 56 is 5 tens and 6 ones or units. Okay, so start from the 155 and go all the way. So let's see what we can do here. 155. How about if I go 5 tens backwards? So 1 ten, 2 tens, 3 tens, 4 tens, 5 tens. So take away 10 in each one. And now 155 and 145, 135, 125, 115, and 105. Then I need to take away six units. The six unit can be broken into, look at this, well, 105. If I go backwards, five units. So the 6, I'm going to break it down into 5 and 1. So take away 5, takes me to a nice place, which is 100. And I need to take away 1 unit. And I am down to 99. So that is the answer. So the answer here is 99. And again, simple, easy, because we establish the knowledge that we need from the beginning. We established that it is good to understand place values, especially for this number. Start from the larger number and go backwards. If the students can jump in five, ten straight away, nothing wrong with that. So minus 50. If not, you can go 10 by 10 five times. Land on the 105. Then think of the six. So instead of taking away six straight away, we take away five and then we take away one and we land on the 99. So this is as simple as it can be for um, subtracting with uh, the jump strategy.